Liu Fu Tong was the leader and the initiator of Red Turban Rebellions at the end of Yuan Dynasty. He was born in a super rich family at Huai River region. In 1344, Yellow River flooded. In order to protect Yuan Dynasty capital, the Yuan court purposely let the flood go south to Huai River region. And Liu Fu Tong's hometown became the flood zone. Yuan Court appointed a famous civil engineer Jia Lu to the flooding region for repairing the embankment and the flood control project. One hundred fifty thousand laborers and twenty thousand soldiers participated in this project. Jia Lu arrived in the flood zone. There he happened to see Liu Fu Tong's white deer. Liu Fu Tong was super rich, and he had his own zoo. The most precious animal in the zoo was a white deer. Jia Lu loved this deer, so he asked Liu to give this white deer to him. Liu Fu Tong refused to do so. Jia Lu then ordered his neighbors to destroy Liu Fu Tong's mansion. For the reason that Liu's mansion would become part of the new water course, Liu Fu Tong then determined to overthrow the rule of Yuan. He found a man of huge influence to cooperate with. This man was Han Shan Tong. Han Shan Tong was a leader of White Lotus religion. He proclaimed the world was in the darkest period, but after. The rebirth of Mitra Buddha and the near coming of King of Light, everyone would live in an ever happy land full of light and brightness. And the most important of all, Han Shan Tong himself was the King of Light. Han Shan Tong's family had been in a special business for generations. This business was rebellion. Han Shan Tong's father, grandfather, and great grandfather were the missionaries of White Lotus religion. White Lotus religion was a mysterious religion in China. It was originated from Manichaeism and mixed with Pure Land Buddhism, which was a Chinese characterized Buddhism. White Lotus religion forecast. The imminent advent of the King of Light. After generations of missionary, the Han family successfully made people believed the rebirth of Mitra Buddha and the near coming of the King of Light, and they believed that Han Shan Tong was the King of Light. Han Shan Tong had huge influence. He was the right person Liu Fu Tong wanted. They too spread one song among the neighbors who were repairing the river embankment. The lyric of the song is, "One-eyed stone man stirs the yellow river, making the world upside down." This song soon became popular and widely spread. In 1350, Han Shan Tong and Liu Fu Tong secretly buried. An one-eyed stone man in the watercourse. Unexpectedly, this stone man was dug out by laborers. When the laborers dug out the one-eyed stone man, they saw one eye on this stone man. Don't say the stone man has one eye. When he appears, the whole world will rebel. The laborers were shocked to see the one-eyed stone man. They suddenly realized what they were saying these days came true. The news soon spread out. More and more people believed the world would be in chaos. Yuan Dynasty might be overthrown. In the next month, they too held an official rebellion ceremony at Liu Fu Tong's White Deer Manor. Three thousand men participated in the ceremony. They wore red turbans as uniform, so they were called Red Turban Army in history. 
The Rabbanan army killed one white horse and one black ox as a sacrifice offering. Niu Futong made a speech and announced that Han Shantong was a descendant of Song Dynasty emperors. He himself was a descendant of the great Song Dynasty general Niu Guangshi. They were aimed to overthrow the rule of Mongols and let the Han ethnics become the ruler again. Just then, Yuan army broke in. Because someone released Liu Futong and Han Shantong's revolting plan, Han Shantong was killed by Yuan army. Liu Futong broke out of the encirclement and escaped. Liu Futong escaped to Wu'an Mountain and quickly summoned tens of thousands laborers for the next campaign. These neighbors believed the prophecy on the stone man had come true. In May 1351, Niu Futong led an uprising in Yinzhou under the name of the Red Turban. The Red Turban army put a couplet on the banner. 3,000 hunting tiger warriors straight to the land of Yu Yan. Nine five flying dragons reopening the sky of the Song Dynasty. The Yuan court ordered the Ministry of Defense officers to lead 6,000 Asu troops and their Han army subordinates to suppress Liu Futong. Asu troops are green-eyed, curly-haired, tall and strong Central Asians. They were good at riding and shooting arrows. They were the elite troops of Yuan since the founding of Yuan Dynasty. However, they became more and more corrupted since they had too much power in China. They indulged themselves in wine, sex, and plundering. After enjoying so many years of good life in China, the former elite warriors became weaker and weaker. When they saw the red turbans, they rode on their horses and said, Abu, Abu. Abu means escape in Mongolian language. Liu Futong then quickly occupied Yinzhou. In around five months, Liu Futong had taken the south part of today's Henan province and his army numbered to 100,000. Henan province was a place where people were brutally rude. Peasants lost their land and became slaves. In addition, the Yellow River had flooded many times. Starving refugees were everywhere. It is hard for people to live. Numerous refugees became bandits. Niu Futong's success inspired the bandits. They all wore red turbans to revolt against Yuan. This is a red turban rebellion. The red turbans were more independent than at the command of Liu Futong. They fought with Yuan armies and fought with each other for land and resources. They were destroying social orders other than maintaining the social order. People feared red turbans more than Mongols. The Mongols, at least, did not eat human. At that time, there was such popular sum in the society. Heaven sent the demon army to kill the injustice. The dissatisfied men killed the unjust men. The dissatisfied men kill other dissatisfied men. After all the injustice are killed, the peace will come. Liu Futong's rebellion accelerated the collapse of Yuan's rule. One of the most chaotic times in Chinese history then started. In 1355, Liu Futong established Song region in South China. He supported Han Shantong's son Han Ning'e to be the emperor. In September 1356, Liu Futong started the North Expedition against Yuan. His North expedition was quite successful at the beginning. 
They occupied lots of cities and killed lots of Yuan generals all the way to Yuan's capital, Dadu. Liu Futong's army expanded to one million in number. Soon, Liu Futong's army would occupy Yuan capital and end the rule of Yuan. However, Liu Futong was one step away from victory. He met his greatest enemy, Cha Han Tianmu. He used smart strategy to destroy Liu Futong's armies. Liu Futong lost all the towns and cities he once occupied. He and Han Ningen escaped all the way back to South China. When they escaped to Anfeng, which was near Zhang Shicheng's land, they were attacked by Zhang Shicheng. Zhang Shicheng was one warlord rising from the chaos at the end of Yuan Dynasty. He previously was an anti-Yuan warlord, but after the failure of Liu Futong, Zhang Shicheng surrendered to Yuan court and turned to attack Liu Futong. Liu Futong then asked Zhu Yuanzhang for help. Zhu Yuanzhang was also a warlord rising from the chaos of Red Turban Rebellion. Unlike Zhang Shicheng, Zhu Yuanzhang was another leader of another Red Turban army. He was a nominal subordinate of Liu Futong. Zhu Yuanzhang then took his army to save Liu Futong. Zhu Yuanzhang defeated Zhang Shicheng and settled Liu Futong in his land. Liu Futong and Han Ningen became the puppet of Zhu Yuanzhang. Zhu Yuanzhang used them to increase his influence in the Red Turban system. Three years later, Liu Futong accidentally fell off Zhu Yuanzhang's boat and died.